we start up this video, I want to give a massive thank you to Endura S1 for sponsoring this ASMR video. This video is yet again very unique. I felt like it's been a while since we made one of these session videos and I thought today, let's start off the day great with you and me having a nice great session together. So what is Endura you may ask? Well, let me show you what they said. They sent me two boxes of their Endura S1 vapes and I have to say I'm really impressed with this one. Very nice comfortable design and very easy usage. Let me show you how it works and what they look like. Some specs, it's available, it's got a mesh coil, USB-C, meaning that if you have the vape, you're like, okay, well how do I charge it? Super easy, everyone's got a cable though, so pretty much just rechargeable. So what you do is, you have the mesh coil, it's not magnetic or anything like that, meaning that no spills, no leakage. You have this little thing on the side, a lippy as I call. You put your juice in it as I show you right here. I got the blue res. You put it in, let it soak in for two to five minutes, and you can basically light up if you would like to say so. So if you want to grab yourself one or two or multiple ones or a starter kit or whatever you feel like and desire, go ahead and check them out. The link will be in the description. Today we're going to be using them and yeah, just speaking about stuff that we normally do on this channel. What an awesome design, I like this one. Reminds me a little bit of one I used to buy at school from um, my ex-girlfriend actually at the time. <laughs> oh, this one is so nice and it's so easy to refill. Because I used to have the magnetic ones, right? Or like the older one, the, the more complicated one. Oh, it used to be horrible, man. They used to leak. I had the, um, the very, very first one I ever bought like 3-4 years ago. 50 euro, I was like, okay, so what am I really paying so much money for? You know, you don't need to spend that much on one of these. A couple bucks, you got the one that actually does the same or is better. Super low nicotine as well. Let's try the other one. It's such a nice, slick design. Not heavy, but your ability is phenomenal. You just refill them, that's it. Super easy. That is the Apple one. So, the one I used to have, right? I forgot the name of the brand, but I could vape, you know, it's adjustable, so, you know, you could put it at a certain watt, you could have child lock on it, but the thing was, it was a magnetic one, which I think is a very cool concept, you know, we can both agree. It's super easy to reveal, you know, if you want to disassemble it, no issue, right? Oh, wow, what a combination that is. Anyways, the downside of that one was is if it was filled, it doesn't matter, a little bit or big, you know, it would leak this, however it doesn't leak, which is really nice. The flavors are really, really nice. Wow. And such a slick design as well. I really like this. And you can also see when it's starting to get low. But anyways, the one that I bought for my ex-girlfriend at the time was like 20 euro. Oh, she ripped me off actually. I didn't like it. It was also one of those that would spill if you do put it like this. And this one doesn't. It's got like a, a block system so it doesn't leak and everything. that I want to actually speak about my birthday that I had a while ago. I didn't get anything for my birthday and before you say, oh no, why didn't you get nothing for your birthday? Um, I didn't want anything for my birthday, all right? Just being very honest right now. Oh, you see, with me, if I want 
months, I think I just go ahead and buy it. I've got no issue with that. Okay, I want a new PlayStation. I'll go get a new PlayStation. I want a new bed. I'll go, I'll get a new bed. I want a fridge. I'll go buy a new fridge. But, you know, for me, it's at, like, it's at a point that my mom is very crazy. She was like, I know you like this bed you saw on the TV. What if I buy you the bed, the TV, and something else? I'm like, Mom, I'm not going to let you spend two grand on me for my birthday. Yeah, okay, I know it's 21st birthday. It's a special thing. But, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm not letting you do that because I find that ridiculous. She's cuckoo, bro. I mean, the bed alone was like, what, a thousand? The TV was 600. And then a set of speakers for like four. And I'm like, Mom, I, f I love you very much. But I feel like I also do not deserve that type of gift to begin with. Because of my behavior, you know. You know, I'm just being honest. And I also feel like I know how I am. When I buy stuff, I don't use it. I collect it if it makes sense. It's like when I buy a pair of shoes, I don't really wear them. I just collect them. I said what I would love from stuff in my apartment. You know, stuff for actual usage because of TV. Like, I don't watch TV if that makes any sense. So, I'm not going to be sitting watching TV the entire day. I won't. I love my mom, but I also told her I refuse to accept a gift like that of that high price. It's too much. You don't need to keep it, you know. <sighs> what a combo. You gotta try this out. I'm telling you, buy two or more and combine them. Wow. Damn. My birthday was amazing. Thank you all so much for the wishes. It means a lot to me. <sighs> I still can't do no tricks. Let me try to do something. this video I feel bad for you at that age you know like you're old and I'm getting old isn't it crazy when you really think of like whoa time goes so fast you know what I mean it's insane oh I didn't celebrate my birthday with friends you know I feel like birthdays for me are very special and I only like to celebrate them I only want to celebrate them with my family and I want nobody outside to get in if that makes any sense friends to begin with but you know birthdays are very special that's family only a family invite you know that's that's how we do it you're not family you don't get invited simple as that so let's say my mom's birthday it's me grandmother my sister my father my brother my cousin dylan and my brother 
has a wife. No one else gets in because, well, everyone lives like two, three hours away from us to begin with. And most people got their own life going on. You know, you can't expect someone with a kid and a wife or whatever, having a house to just rock up. Don't work like that no more, does it? I do not use this outside my videos, just letting you know. It's super low in Nick, so you don't get a rush, which is really nice. You know what I actually wanted to do for my 25th, but because we don't live in Rotterdam or like narrow fleet spike and it's like Rotterdam and the Hague. So we have like car rentals in the Netherlands. You gotta be 21, 25. So if I wanted to rent like a Rolls Royce or a Bentley Maserati, it'd have to be 25, right? Because it's certain car value, certain horsepower, certain whatever, right? Uh, but if you're 21, I can rent the Audi RS3 for a day or Volkswagen 8. Oh man, GDI. Look, I really am a huge lover of GDIs. I would have bought one hey, if it wasn't for the price. I'm not spending 20, 25 grand on a car that's, that's 10 years old almost. I'm very sorry. I'm just not doing that. Second of all, at the end of the day, it's just a Volkswagen, but just a little bit faster. Nothing else, you know, really, if you're being honest, because here's the thing. You can basically also tune and book pop banks on a 1.4 liter four-cylinder Volkswagen Golf, you know. But it would sound pretty dumb, actually. So it's like, I, maybe I can rent the RS3 for a day. You'd have to drive, I'd have to go to North Paramount, and it's like, not worth it, man, for my view, and then, no, not worth it. But maybe in like, four years when I'm 25, I'll go rent a double R for a day. But I've seen the price of like, what a grand, 1.5k for a Rolls Royce for just a few hours. That's very crazy. Maybe, I don't know though. But my favorite car, RS3. Oh yeah, Audi RS3, but you can get an Audi RS3 for like 22, 25K, but then it's all 2013. And if you're a lucky 2015 model, but that's if you're lucky enough to find one that's not super high in mileage, because with any sport car, you gotta look at the mileage and how many how many owners, because my car, I'm the second owner, which means that I'm okay, I'm pretty much safe with it's not been kicked down to the max because it's not a sport car, but with like sport cars, you have to make sure it's everything technically in order. Because a car can be still good even if it's got 200,000 on the, on the clock. It's just you have to consider like, hey, things are gonna break down probably if you go too crazy with a car. Makes a lot of sense, so that's very important. Actually, I did get some stuff for my car. My dad and I bought. So I have been shopping for new exhaust pipes for the longest. Uh, we found Acrobo Beach. They're just too small. The ones I currently have on, which are the Miltec or like a German brand of Miltec with a different brand, the carbon fiber. We're either going to redo them with carbon fiber or we're going to buy the Acrobo Beach but I want the size I have currently on them. So they're like this, this, not like double the size or something. Very big and I love the sound of it. And then we will, I just bought some other accessories for my birthday for the inside of my car. Some carbon fiber lookalikes, cause you know, real carbon fiber, they don't make it for my car. And it would look a bit stupid, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Another car that I really like a lot. You see, the thing is, I'm gonna compare it. Cars in the Netherlands, if you want a car that's enjoyable, fast, GDI is the only option really for the average person, right? In America, it's a different story because the car market is very, very cheap there. Like, you can buy a 2014 Mustang GT, I think, for like 15k, bro. You you would have to pay 35, 40k for that here. Maybe even more. You want a Hellcat Dodge, Dodge here? 300,000. Like, two 
267 or something. Ooh. Bro, it's ridiculous that you you will never see no one drive out get here. Cost to just purchase one is over the roof. You pay like 100 grand extra. Because you eat you. Your road tax. Oh man, you don't want to know it. That's going to cost thousands a year. Your insurance. Now you're looking at about 300, 500 a month maybe. Doesn't matter what age. Like, let's say you're a 20 year old multi millionaire. You want to drive a big 2023 Hellcat SRT here. You won't get it. They will not insure it. You're going to be 21, 25 probably. And you have to find a place that is willing to insure a car like that. Because if you drive a Hellcat SRT as one of the, if you got one of a few in this country, it's going to get stolen. 100%, without a doubt. So that's why the American market for me is so great. Like, if I would have lived in America, if we would have lived in America, I would probably have an RS7. Or like a S5 or something. 4 liter V8. I've also got the 3.6 or 3.7 liter V6. S8. S7, sorry, my bad. Oh, beautiful Audis. Oh, I love Audis, man. I will say the Q5 that my parents have. What a car. What a beast in the sky. Like from the outside, you think, oh, it's just a regular Q5. Ain't got nothing special. It's got 305 horsepower. It goes, bro. Because it's got a turbo and everything, it just boom, it just goes. The thing is, when you kick down, it thinks for one, two seconds, but then it just goes. With my car, you kick down, it doesn't think, it just goes. You know what I mean? so comfortable it's like you're walking it's like you're sitting on a cushion the entire time it's way more comfortable than my car i mean you, you can't compare a q5 with a Mazda. i mean come on that's not really fair but super comfortable the difference is my car's four option it's got everything the audi doesn't but it's a 2016 model so you know oh, we actually had someone in our neighborhood lived in a mansion Audi Q5, it was a fake one, it had an ABD and everything on, it's a special tuning uh, company. Oh, made it look like an SQ5. My parents considered an SQ5 as well, but you see the thing is, there's hardly any different horsepower. And, you know, it's not a dad, I don't think a SQ5 looks that nice. Oh, but they had a silver one, and it sounded like a tractor. My dad knows they did something with the car, but it sounded stupid. They also had a Porsche Cayenne, and they had a, a AMG. They had a big house out. Oh, a big house, like in a corner of a street. Damn, overlooking the water. Oh, yeah, where I used to go to school as a kid, they used to have, still to this day, they got like this whole neighborhood full of mansions. Like big houses, like really insanely big houses, bigger than ours, way bigger. But people that live there, lawyers, people that work for the government, for the, like high rank councils, and doctors, and stuff. So you can imagine. My mom, actually, an interesting fact my mom used to be a lawyer. A lot of you don't know that. I actually didn't know that neither until she told me a while ago. She used to actually be a lawyer for a while, for like for a few years time. Oh, and as she switched her job over to working for Shell. Oh, which I think safety wise, a good choice. Like being a lawyer in this country has become dangerous, man. If you, if you like, I'm not going to get myself mixed into it because, you know, I want to stay out of that type of business on the internet. Oh, but that's this big process. Oh, with the, uh, Mafia in this country, we got mafia here, dude. People often think it's just cheese and you know, women here. Oh, we're one of the largest importers of, uh, if you know what I mean, Flissinger, Rotterdam, even Amsterdam. As we're speaking, it's getting imported, exported right now to Colombia and all these countries. Oh, but like these lawyers, uh, 
with the feds to un undercover the whole mafia here. In broad daylight in this neighborhood in Amsterdam. Well, you know what happened, I don't have to explain to you. And then two years later, um, Peter had a freeze. <sighs> man, rest in peace to that dude, man. To this day, we know, to this day, had no security, by the way. It's just like our present world president. Margaret is an example, he doesn't have security with him. Like my mom has seen him a few times when she was working in the Hague. He, he, he's on his goddamn bicycle, acting like a, a regular civilian. And it's like this dude is one of the be most important people in this country who runs the country. And he's just casually going through the city on his bike like it's nothing. That's how safe it is. But nowadays they've had to take measurements, obviously. So they have to have security 24 7. Like Grappa House is an example. 24 7 security now because of threats, you know. Oh, it's not a life I would like. No. Having to watch my back 24 7. Uh uh. They chose a job. Oh, they, didn't, they didn't chose to get threatened, obviously, but that's what comes with a job like that, you know. You put yourself in those situations, that's what is expected, I think. This was really good, man. Endure S1. You've got to go check him out by Eno. Oh, sorry, my bad. By Eno Kim. Really, really nice. Thank you all so much for watching this video, man. That was great talking to you. Thank you yet again for the birthday wishes. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.